Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to make a printed circuit board using toner transform method in which you print your artwork on a photo paper using a laser printer. Specifically you have to use a laser printer to get your artwork transferred on the PCB. If you use an inkjet printer it won't work. Now the first step is you have to cut the artwork which you have printed to the size of the artwork and take a PCB of the size of the artwork and place it uh, artwork facing down on the copper side of the PCB make sure your copper uh, laminate the copper side is uh, smooth and clean you can use little bit sandpaper to clean the grease or whatever grime that's on it and heat up your iron now to full temperature possibly use a automatic iron which regulates the temperature automatically and now take a block and place your PCB over it now this one's falling short a little bit smaller so I take a little bit bigger one it's too big that's what I have right now choose a suitable spot Now take your iron and make sure your print does not move. You can secure it using uh, masking tape but in this case I did not. Masking tape is better. It holds the artwork in place securely and it does not burn off apply even pressure on the whole area using the iron tip you have to iron whole PCB thoroughly and evenly using the iron tip and in this case my iron wasn't getting that hot so this is what I'm doing right now to raise the temperature of the PCB I put the whole iron on it for a couple of seconds or minutes whatever Now the iron is heating again as you can see the neon light has come on now again repeat the same procedure apply pressure using the iron tip on the whole area out I got a nasty hot shock what do you call a burn so I took a small block sandwich the PCB between the bigger one and the smaller one and I am doing the work as you see in the picture and as you see in the video my head is shaking and so the camera is also shaking because I am applying a little bit high pressure on the PCB.
Now put it into the water. Water should be cold. Let it soak for about 5 10 minutes so that the paper gets soaked and gets soggy and absorbs water so that it's easy to peel off. It's coming nice. come out pretty well some of my ground plane areas haven't come properly now I'm asking for a towel to dry it off I don't like dirty hands when I'm making PCBs but that's unavoidable. And make sure you don't forget to switch off your iron. And there were some traces which did not show up properly. That was a minor issue. So I'm using a permanent marker, a CD marker. Uh, it's a hard time trying to start these pens working. Finally, it's working now. Now drill some holes uh, on the four corners Takes a piece of wire Insert it through one of the hole Insert the other end through the other hole so that you don't need to put your hands inside the ferric chloride. Ferric chloride is not good for your skin. It's a corrosive chemical. Now dip it inside. Completely. Let it stay there for about 15-20 minutes. Keep checking. Keep checking whether your PCB has fully etched or not. After 5 minutes or so, it's still not done. And now it's done. You can check the uh, check whether the design has come, design has etched or not in light. Now wipe it wipe the toner off using tissue paper that was my homemade tissue dispenser now if you want a clean pcb use some wd-40 spray some wd-40 I don't know where I kept my WD-40 so I'm searching for it 
here you go spray it well so that it creates a oil base and then take some acetone put it on the tissue wipe it off scrub take some more acetone take off the complete toner Now it's completely off the PCB, there's no toner on the PCB. Now this is what I'm using to prevent the copper from oxidation. It's called Plastic 70. It's a conformal coating for PCBs. It is solderable. I'm using this for about five years now. Spray it quick. Don't spray too much. Now, next step is to drill the PCBs. This is my homemade drill press for PCBs and it's really awesome it's called a speed control I will make a video someday on how to make it aha here's your PCB ma'am I hope this video helped you and please like, comment and share and subscribe to our channel.